the stormy seas and turbulent times of 16th century Ireland, a formidable and legendary figure emerged. A woman who defied convention and commanded the high seas, this is the story of Grainne Mally, known as Grace O'Malley, the Pirate Queen of Ireland. But Grace was not just a pirate, she was a beacon of strength during a time when women were often relegated to the shadows of history, her legacy goes beyond her exploits at sea. She stands as a symbol of resistance, challenging the norms of her time and leaving an indelible mark on Ireland's history. Join us as we journey through the life of Grace O'Malley, unraveling the extraordinary tale of a woman who sailed against the tides of convention to become a legend. The 16th century was a period of immense turmoil in Ireland. The seas were fraught with political upheaval, territorial disputes, and a struggle for power, it was during this tumultuous era that Grace O'Malley would carve her name into the annals of history. Her Gaelic name, Grania, meaning grain or charming, reflected her early persona, a young girl destined for extraordinary feats. In a land steeped in Gaelic culture and history, Grania's birth held special significance. Born into the O'Malley clan, a family of seafarers and chieftains, her destiny was written in the waves that crashed against the Irish coastline. Grania's birthplace, though not precisely recorded, is believed to be in County Mayo, a coastal region in the west of Ireland. This region, marked by its rugged beauty, influenced the course of her life. At the heart of Grania's early life was her father, Owen O'Malley, a distinguished seafaring chieftain known for his mastery of the ocean, provided Grania with a unique upbringing. Under Owen's guidance, Grania experienced the world of maritime trade and fishing at a young age, her father's wisdom and knowledge of the sea laid the foundation for her future as a legendary maritime leader. Grania Nimali, or Grace O'Malley, embarked on a unique and adventurous childhood. From an early age she accompanied her father, Owen O'Malley, on trading and fishing voyages, a rare privilege for a young girl in the 16th century. Picture the young Grania standing at the helm of her father's ship, the sea breeze in her hair, and the vast expanse of the ocean unfolding before her. These early experiences were the canvas upon which her adventurous spirit was painted. While other girls of her age might have been confined to traditional roles, Grace was an exception. She actively participated in the daily operations of their maritime activities, learning the intricacies of sailing, navigation, and the art of fishing. These childhood experiences weren't just adventures, they were the building blocks of her legendary maritime expertise. Granyani Mali's early years at sea would lay the foundation for the fearless pirate queen she would become. At the young age of 16, Grace O'Malley, then known as Granyani Mali, entered into her first marriage, a union that would shape her life and destiny. Grania was wed to Donald O. Flaherty, a marriage arranged for both strategic and political reasons, a common practice in 16th century Ireland. Donald, known for his prowess in battle, was the Tarnista elect roughly translated means second in command, for the Flyer T clan and a man of influence, the marriage was seen as a union of power and prestige. However, like the turbulent seas, Grania and Donald's marriage faced challenges. Grania's fiery spirit clashed with the traditional roles and expectations imposed upon her as a wife. Though this marriage bore fruit in the form of two sons, Owen and Murica, and a daughter named Margaret, Grania struggled to balance her responsibilities as a wife and mother, with her innate desire for independence, raising a family while navigating the political landscape of 16th century Ireland proved to be no easy feat. Grania faced the challenge of being a present mother, while asserting herself in a male-dominated society. Despite the demands of her role as a wife and mother, Grania's fiery spirit and ambition refused to be subdued. This marriage and the experiences that followed would set her on a path that defied convention. Leaving behind her first marriage and the confines of a conventional life, Grania embarked on a new journey, setting her sights on establishing her own rule in County Mayo, her ancestral homeland. Grania sought to carve a path distinct from the traditions of her time. Her audacity knew no bounds as she defied the norms that sought to suppress her ambitions. Grania's rise to power was marked by her ability to command respect and loyalty. She possessed an innate leadership that inspired her followers to rally behind her vision. Through her strategic acumen and fearlessness, she gained the loyalty of her crew, inspiring them to sail under her flag and embrace a life of adventure and piracy. With the winds of rebellion in her sails, Grania embarked on daring ventures, capturing the imagination of her contemporaries and striking fear into the hearts of those who opposed her. 
Grania's strategic brilliance and audacity led to numerous successful attacks on English ships, she utilized her intimate knowledge of the Irish coast to navigate and strike with precision. With a fleet under her command she protected her lands and people from outside threats, ensuring their safety and fostering a sense of loyalty among her followers. Grace O'Malley's remarkable saga extended beyond the seas as she boldly stepped into the arena of politics, engaging with influential figures of her time. One of her most notable encounters was with Queen Elizabeth I, an exchange of wits and power dynamics that unfolded against the backdrop of a politically charged era. In 1593, Grania journeyed to England to petition the Queen, seeking redress for grievances and the release of her sons, her political acumen and fearlessness were on full display. Their meeting was a clash of formidable women, each fiercely defending their people's interests. Grania's audacious request for the release of captured Gaelic leaders showcased her dedication to her community. On another front, Grania faced Sir Richard Bingham, an English governor. Bingham relentlessly pursued her, seeking to undermine her influence and suppress her power. Grania used her diplomatic prowess to attempt to remove Bingham from his post, aiming to restore peace to her lands and protect her people from his oppressive rule. These encounters demonstrated Grania's ability to navigate the complex political landscape of the time. She fought for her people's interests standing undeterred against powerful adversaries. In the twilight of her remarkable life, Grace O'Malley remained an indomitable force, continuing her resistance against English encroachment on Irish soil. Even in the face of advancing age, she displayed a tenacity that had defined her life, defending her people, their lands, and their way of life. As the 17th century dawned, Grania Nimali, the fearless pirate queen, reached the end of her storied journey. In the year 1603 she sailed into the horizon, leaving behind a legacy that would echo through the ages, the circumstances surrounding her death remain shrouded in mystery. Some say she passed away peacefully in her bed at Rockfleet Castle, surrounded by her family. Others believe she met her end at sea, doing what she loved most, commanding her ships through the waves. Regardless of the truth, Grania's legacy continues to inspire and intrigue. But the mystery doesn't end with her death. The location of her final resting place remains unknown, lost to the sands of time. Though legend suggests she was buried in the ruins of a Cistercian abbey on Clare Island, the truth eludes us, her grave, like her spirit, remains elusive and enigmatic. Grania's story lives on, carried through generations, whispered in the winds and sung in Irish ballads, her indomitable spirit, her fierce determination. These are the legacy she bestowed upon Ireland. And thus, the Pirate Queen lives on, forever etched in history, forever a symbol of defiance and an unyielding spirit. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed watching my video. If you found it engaging and informative, I'd truly appreciate your support. Please take a moment to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more exciting content. Your support means a lot to me, and it helps me continue creating content that you'll love. Stay tuned for more great videos coming your way.